Good morning. I'm back down Pevensey. Still can't get on Brighton for the place because of the winds. The plan for today is again to try and get some dabs and I'll go through my rigs with you and my bait. I've only got fresh lug. So yeah, we'll see what we can get. Wish me luck. Brave ladies going in at this time of day. It's about seven in the morning. Just gone high tide. And yeah, freezing cold. Time for a swim. Well, before I've had a chance to get my second rod set up, I've got a bite on the first one. Not been out there long, only about three or four minutes. Just try and keep that line tight. I'm hoping it's not a dogfish. <laughs> I didn't come for dogfish. It must be camera shy. See, I put the camera on, but it stops. I'll just re reel down into it, see if I can feel any weight on the end. Well, it's definitely heavy. But it feels like a bit of a dead weight. What have we got here? It's definitely a fish. Oh, look at that. The dreaded dogfish, everybody. Dogfish number one. Uh-oh. I'll get him unhooked and chuck him back. There's a lot of shingle shifting going on around here at the moment. This is going to be my company for the day. So, so my dogfish has gone safely back and we can have a look at the other rig I'm using. This is a bit like a bomber rig, but I've made a slight variation of it and I'm calling this the torpedo rig because it's a little bit more streamlined than the bomber. And it's also two rigs in one. So let's take a look. At the bottom, I've got an imp. And my bottom snood is about 18 inches long. And just like you see on a loop rig, I've got a cascade swivel there with a little mini cl snood clip underneath so I can unattach the hook. And that means if I catch a flatty and I want to use the through the gills unhooking method, that cascade swivel won't catch in the gills and I can just pass that little clip through, which is much better for the fish. And that's gonna go on the, on the bait clip, the imp at the bottom. And then my top snood is about three feet long, and that's gonna clip onto the cascade swivel that's on the bottom snood, like you would on a loop rig. But it's very similar to a bomber rig, because the top snood's really long, and the bottom snood is attached halfway down the rig body, and they both click onto the imp. So let's take a look at that with it all set up on the clips. So that's the business end. We've got the bottom hook there on the imp. The top hook is on the cascade tool, so waves coming a little bit close. Now if I want to turn this into a loop rig, because I've used rig gum stops to hold my bottom swivel in place, all I need to do is slide that down to just above the imp at the bottom and the bottom snood's going to fish like a loop, loop rig, one down below the lead. And I'll still have that long uh, snood above fishing from the top of the rig. So there we go. That's the torpedo rig, which is my variation of a bomber. And I said it was more streamlined. Well, on a bomber rig, you'd have both baits sitting on that clip. And especially if you've got a little bit of bulk to those baits, then... There's a big digger going past at the top. Hopefully this sounds all right. If you've got both baits on that clip, it's a little bit more bulky and it's going to be wider flying through the air and a bit less streamlined, whereas these baits are in line with each other and more streamlined, so it's going to fly a little bit further. So it's a, a good rig when distance is important, just like the bomber, but I reckon a bit more streamlined, so it's going to get you that little bit extra distance. Plus, two rigs in one. 
So there you go, folks. That's the torpedo rig. Let's see if it brings me some luck today. Oh, no. I've got another doggy bite on the right-hand rod. And I've got a little tap on the left-hand rod. It's all going off. So many fish in the sea down Pevensey Bay. Certainly can't complain about the sport, but I would like my dab. Right, let's get the right hand one reeled in. See if Mr. Dog's on there. Oh yes. This feels like it could be doggy number two. Oh, it feels like it's come off. Is he still there? No, no, he came off. Well, I'll get some fresh bait on this, send it back out. Just keep an eye on that other rod for a second, see if my bite develops into anything. Well, got bites on both rods again. Looks like a doggy on the one I've chucked in with my free hook flapper. And there were little gentle taps on the torpedo rig. So I'll reel the doggy one in first, see if we can catch you catch it this time. And then we'll have a look to see if I've got anything on the torpedo rig. There, he's on there. He was on there. I'll pop that back down, see if he's still around. Right, let's check the other one out. Maybe, maybe it's not a dogfish. Doesn't feel like there's anything on here. I'll find out soon enough. Feels like there's something kicking back. Either that or it's just my grip lead dragging through the sand a little bit. Hey. Well, it didn't look like a dogfish bite. There we have a little pout. I'll get this chap unhooked and get him sent back. So there we go. Sweet little pout. Ready to go back. Whoa, <laughs> lively one. And he's off. Swam off lovely. I just reeled in my scratching rig and I think I caught the world's smallest rocklin. If I can stop him wriggling, pick him up. Look at that. Isn't he cute? Whee! Try and get him to hold still for a sec. There we go. Off he goes. Well guys, I just had a little tiny tap on the rod with the torpedo rig and we have double dog. <laughs> so nice to see the torpedo rigs working, just not catching the species I wanted. But they all count and I'm having fun and that's the main thing. I'll get these dogs unhooked, chuck them back and maybe catch them next time. So I've chucked the dogs back and I'm going to get this torpedo rig launched out again and see if I can get a couple more. I think I might have given up on my dabs now. So yeah, the rig's working well anyway, I'm pleased with that. Let's chuck it out, see what we get. Well, I've literally just cast that back out and I've already got another bite on the torpedo rig. So it's working really well. 
just a shame it's catching me dogs. That looks definitely looks like another dogfish bite. The other rod, the scratching rig, I've got chucked out. It must be between five and ten yards. It's really close in. It seems to be avoiding the dogfish, but it seems to be avoiding all the fish, which isn't quite what I had in mind. I'll just give that dogfish bite a little time to develop. And then I'll get it reeled in. See if we can get another hook up. Oh my God, too much background noise. So I'm doing a little voice over here. I just want to say we are finishing as we started with another dogfish, but it's a big one this time though. And hopefully I'll see you next time, folks. That's it from Pevensey Bay, also known as Dogfish Bay from now on. Next time, hopefully, the weather will improve and I can hit Brighton after some place. So thanks for watching. If you've liked, please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really mean a lot to me and it helps me out. So we'll see you next time, folks. Thank you for watching.